So this should be a fairly quick video about conditional formatting. Uh, and what we're going to attempt to do is to highlight an entire row using conditional formatting. So when something occurs, we want the entire row to be highlighted with a color, not just one cell. So uh, let's try this. Uh, and we're going to give a couple of examples. So uh, the first one, I'm going to move to this products table. So now what we're going to do, if our cost is above $100, we would like this entire row to be highlighted in a certain color. So the first thing we're going to do is use a formula to create a logical test. So I'm going to start with an equal sign. And I'm going to ask if this, which is the two cell, is greater than 100. It says true. I'm going to copy this down and everything that's greater than 100 gets dead. Everything else gets false. Now this will work for a single row and highlighting a single row. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a single column. But uh, that's not going to work if we try to use this for the entire table. So to show you what I mean, if I take this formula, escape, and then highlight the entire table, and then go under format, conditional formatting, and then choose under options to use a custom formula and paste my formula. You'll see that it's not really doing what we've, we're trying to do. It's just this weird thing is happening when these products are highlighted accurately in the first column and in the second column, they're all formatted for whatever reason. So that doesn't make any sense. That's not working the way it should work. So I'm going to cancel and we're going to find out how we can actually accomplish this. So the way we accomplish this, so the way you want to think about it is that uh, you kind of have a grid on the right side here that needs to look like trues and falses grid similar to this table. So we have a table here with four columns and this many rows. So I'm going to kind of highlight this area. And just to make this easier to understand, I'm going to give some borders here. So that's a similar table on the right with four columns. So what we need to do in addition to just being able to drag this down, we should be able then to drag this to the right and get, I went too far there, there we are, and get a table of trues or falses. But the way it should work is when this is true, the entire row needs to be true. But at the same time, when it's false, the entire row needs to be false. Now, right now you can see that that's not what we're getting. So therefore it doesn't work. So the way you fix that is by simply locking the column. So in this case, the column is the D column for this value. So I'm going to add a dollar sign for that D column. That's going to lock the column. So as we're copying the formula to the right, this cell is not going to start moving to the right. So that will fix our problem. So right now, if I copy this down, copy this to the right, what do I get? Trues. All falses, false, 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 trues, and false. So once you're able to get to this point where your formula works in both directions, then you'll be able to use this formula to conditionally format the entire row. So I'm going to go inside of this first one, copy this first formula, hit escape, then go and starting from the left, because that's the formula where I'm copying, see, here on top. So I'm starting right here in this A2 cell and highlight my entire area, go under format, conditional formatting, and format cells if, I'm going to switch this to the last option, custom formula is, and paste my formula. You can already see that it works in the background. So we'll go ahead and give this some color, done. And I'm going to close this out. Now, this we don't need. We're just doing this to help us understand if this is going to work or not. Now, once we figure that out, we can just remove all of that. So I'm going to delete those to get that out of the way. 
So there we are. So now we're highlighting the whole row based on our condition. So if this is less, see, 90, it's not highlighted. If this is above 100, so I'm going to type 101, for example, the entire row is highlighted. That's how you can highlight the entire row. Let's do another quick example of this on this one. So uh, what we have here is projected and actual amounts. We would, we would like to highlight the entire row if our actual amount is above our projected amount. So to do that, I'm going to again create a formula equal sign. So I want to check if our actual is greater than projected. There we are. So I'm going to hit enter. Uh, and I want to drag it down. Now uh, I have to be able to copy this to the right and get the same thing. False, 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 but I'm not getting it. Again, for the same reason, because if I check what happened here, see the formulas move to the right. And what used to be checking if the actual amount is greater than projected, now we're getting we're checking if the false is greater than actual because we move to the right so references are moving to the right so I'm gonna hit escape go back here so in order to not move to the right we need to lock the column B and the column C because that's where the, our values are so the C is the first one so I'm gonna add a dollar sign in front of the C B is the second one so dollar sign in front of that B so that's going to lock those so it doesn't move to the right. Now we do not want to lock the twos because we want to be able to still move from rent to utilities and then to insurance. Otherwise it's going to be just locked to rent all the time. So we'll hit enter. Now I'm going to copy this down this way and then copy this to the right. Now you'll see we get see falses, all trues in this rows, false and true. Great. Now that we got that going. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy this first formula, hit escape, and then, uh, and by the way, we're going to do this for this entire area, but this is still going to work. So if I drag this three to the right and down, you'll see that I'm st still getting the same thing. So false, the whole row false. In reality, if you can get it to work for two rows, then it's going to, uh, two columns, then it's going to work no matter how many columns you have. So you don't really need exactly the same size table. So in this case, I'm going to go grab the first one again, copy, hit escape, and I'm on the top left. So I want to start from here because I want to highlight the whole thing, including the label on the left. So I'll highlight this entire area, go under format, conditional formatting, and on under format cells if, I'm going to switch this to the last option, custom formula, and paste our formula as the value. Now we can see it's working already, but let's go ahead and switch this to a different type of formatting. Again, you can do your custom something, but this is fine for me. It's not a design class, so we'll go ahead and hit done. I don't need these, so I'll delete those. And right now we can see how entire row is highlighted based on our condition which is if actual spent is more than projected we're highlighting the entire row